Valak the Nun. Today we are going to be making one of the most beautiful women on the planet. She was crowned Miss Universe in 2012 and is now one of the most recognizable cover girls in all of Thailand. Maybe she was born with it, maybe it's Maybelline, but it's definitely cake. So let's get started. My name is Christina Aguilera and you're watching The Voice. To create this cake, I am using my silicone adjustable cake pan. I was very weary about using this cake pan, but I think it's pretty bomb. The cake batter doesn't leak out at the bottom. It doesn't really hold the shape that you try to create if it's very specific, but there's still less excess cake than if I were to use a rectangular cake pan. Now I created a template that's the shape of the nun, and I just cut it out using a carrying knife. I divided my cake into two equal layers and then placed buttercream in the middle of this baby using a giant pastry bag that is way too big for my hands. I tried like really hard to grip it properly, but it was just too big for me. That's what she's now. I am using a box chocolate cake, but I added a third of a cup of peanut butter to it because I thought it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's very deceiving because it's not as sweet, so it makes you think that it's healthier, but in actuality, you're just adding fat and salt to something that's already sweet. So now you got sugar, fat, and salt. It's really good. <laughs> and I placed my top layer of cake on and then I transferred it onto my cake stand. Now the first silhouette I created was to get the nun's veil. Now I'm gonna cut the top layer of cake away to get the nun's head shape. Then I just started to carve away and get her eyes and the rest of her face. So the nun is actually not even a nun. Valak is a demon that was dressed as a nun so that he could fool all the other nuns in the convent. Now, I didn't like the movie as a whole. Some people really enjoyed it. I only liked parts of it. The parts that I liked make me want to see another movie. Uh, I loved watching the nuns march into the chapel. I thought that was really intense. And they made praying looks so cinematic. It almost felt like warriors that were humming a, a, a battle hem. Now before creating all of the elements of her face, I wanted to make sure that I spaced out all of her features correctly. So I knew where her eyebrows were, how far down her mouth was from her chin. Probably spent like an hour trying to make sure that all of her features were in the right place. And once I was happy with it, I gave it a crumb coat and then placed it into the fridge to chill for about two hours, I think. While I was chilling, I was watching this Netflix original. It was a teen movie called Sarah, Sarah Burgess is a loser. I think that's how you say her name. Burgess? I thought the movie was funny. And I thought that the friendship that they created between the popular pretty girl and the ugly loser girl or whatever. She's not even ugly. I love the montage where you can tell that they went from being friends to being best friends. I thought that worked really well. Now, if you haven't watched it, go do that. And if you've seen it, what do you think? So Valak has a really long nose and I was scared that the nose that I was creating from cake would get lost once I placed on the first layer of fondant. So I decided to create a nose out of fondant. I wanted to make sure that it was really long and that it came to a point. So I took my time sculpting it. And then I took my cake out of the fridge, cut away the cake nose, added some buttercream and stuck on my fondant nose. I also made the eye sockets too deep so I filled those in with a little bit of fondant as well. And then on went a large piece of white fondant. Now I was very careful when I was doing this. I made sure that before I flattened the fondant out that I was pushing it into the eye sockets as well as underneath the nose because I was scared it was gonna tear. When I was happy with how the features were all being represented, I smoothened out the fondant on the sides of her face. And instead of cutting away the excess fondant, I just took some sculpting tools and pushed the fondant underneath the cake until the excess fondant tore away. And then I started to sculpt Valak's face. Now I very carefully crafted this really long nose and I wanted to make sure that the fondant on top of it had just as much detail. Long and pointed, I wanted to make sure that the slope on the bridge of the nose was nice. And he also had this very slight indentation right at the tip that I wanted to make sure I included. 
Then I made my way to his cheekbones. And then I started to create his lips. The, I think that looks a guy. I don't, I don't know anymore. I wanted to make sure that I got that very prominent brow bone and made her look evil. I kept referring back to my reference photos so that I could get her looking exactly the way that she does in the movie. At the beginning I felt like I was just creating a face and then I was like, you know, I gotta make sure her resting B face is on point. Now to create Valak's eyes, I'm using two cookie cutters. I'm just gonna create each eye using food coloring. So the base of my eyes created with yellow food coloring mixed with some magic sauce. And I'm giving this a rim of very diluted black food coloring. And I actually just diluted a lot of black food coloring to make it so the white of the eyes look realistic as well. Making scary characters is easy because when you mess up just a little bit, it looks like you're just adding detail to make them look gory. I'm just adding some more black to create some shadow and detail to the white of the eyes. And then I placed it in the pupils. And I'm just going to repeat this process to get the second eye. And then I started to paint my nun cake. Now the nun's face isn't clean, so I'm giving this a dirty wash, which is just magic sauce with a tiny bit of brown and black food coloring. When you place it on the surface, it just makes the skin look nasty. Nasty. With some black food coloring, I added her spider veins. They're very specific. They highlight different aspects of her face. So I referred back to my reference picture as much as possible so that I could get all of them in the right place. And then, using some black food coloring, I gave her her luscious lips. Oh, they're like super kissable, right? I'm adding some dark circles to her eyes and just blending it into the rest of the cake. And I'm also adding like fake shadows so I can contour her face too. And actually, this is the kind of makeup you want to wear if you're like going on a blind date. Yeah, if anyone sees you wearing this, you'll definitely get a lot of pals, pals you'll make a lot of friends, you guys. Now, once I was happy with my nun's face, I started to work on her outfit. She's going out on the town tonight, so we wanted to look lovely. I added a very loose panel of white fabric so I could get the wimple right. The wimple, I think it's called the wimple. I'm looking up all of the nun veil vocabulary terms so I know what I'm talking about when I'm putting on these pieces. Now I wrapped her chin and the side of her face with a very long piece of white fondant to create her white under veil. I'm just gonna cut away the excess and then start to create her crown band at the top. The crown band which covers her forehead has these two very distinct folds and I wanted to make sure I could create them without that much effort. So I added two strips of white fondant so that when I placed the band on top of it, it would create the fold automatically. Look at that, yo. Less work, that's bomb. After that, I added two black panels on each side to create the black under veil, and then a large panel of black fondant to create the top veil. Now the top veil has this like rim of white detail, so I added that with a little bit of white luster dust and some magic sauce. Ooh, and then her outfit was ready. She's ready to go out on the town. Talk to her man, her only man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna be praying up a storm tonight. Amen. Oh, now I added in her eyes and I'm just wrapping them with some black fondant to create some eyelids. And then I painted them a little more to make them look realistic and I repeated that process with the other eye. And voila, our nun cake was complete. Valak, the demon dressed as a nun, but also the most beautiful woman in the entire world was complete. I'm, I'm just, I'm just proud of this cake, man. I love the texture I created on her face. I love all of the spider veins and that nose. Yo, I should be a plastic surgeon. I did that nose justice. And the fondant veil looks like fabric, so I was really pleased with that. And I finished this cake at two in the morning, and I was walking to my fridge in the dark. And it was so spooky having to put this in my fridge because it doesn't look like a cake. I keep talking about this like it's the nun, but it's not. This is Valak the demon dressed like a nun, which means that 
you have to kill it. And the only way to kill a demon is to spit the blood of Christ in its face. And then when it's weak, just stab it with a knife, like as many times as you can. And then finish it off by punching it in the face. I did it for you, so you're welcome. Now we can enjoy this cake together. Look, oh, it's chocolate and peanut butter, you guys. If you want to see all of my Halloween cakes and treats, there's a playlist for you in the description box, also at the end of the video. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see everything that I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can be a part of future videos as well. As always, I'm Christina Aguilera, you're watching The Voice. I hope you enjoyed this, I will see you very soon. Peace.